I'm just trying to ignite uh, and awaken the hero inherent to every man and woman out there, especially yung mayayaman. At the end of the day, tayo ang panalo. Tayong mga maumayan. Yung maliliit na maumayan, sila ang panalo dito. And of course, dito lumalabas yung diwa ng pagtutulungan. to everyone. To all my supporters who supported me through the years, especially the previous election, we might not be able to achieve victory, but the 5 million vote supported my bid is enough to consider myself as a winner, not only in politics, but a champion in the hearts of those 5 million Filipinos. However, deep in my heart, I don't want to be a politician. That is not my quarter. No, that is not my business. I just wanted to help everyone as much as possible. The Ilocanos, the Bulacenos, the Tagalog, the Visayans, and the Mindanaoans. Of course, including Simohanos, regardless of race, creed, and religion regardless of color. Everybody must help one another. Filipinos are like that. We always wanted to live but by each other happiness. We do not want to live by each other misery. We do not hate and despise one another. In our country, there is a place for everyone. And the beautiful world is bound with good seeds and can provide for everyone. The road of life can be at liberty and wonderful, but many of our brothers and sisters have lost the way. Greediness to pain, power, and wealth have poisoned our souls. Those ambitious men barricaded the world with hate and foolish individuals drag us into misunderstanding and misery. We have developed technology, but we almost lost humanity. Our knowledge has made us cynical. Our cleverness made us skeptical. We strive for the best, and now we feel too less. We need humanity more than technology. We need kindness and gentleness better than cleverness. The absence of these qualities in the heart of men, life will be savage and all will be lost. The very essence of this message to all of you is to cry out for the righteousness in men and appeal for universal brotherhood for the unity of all people. Those who can hear me, I say, do not distress. The hardship in life that is now upon us will soon be come to pass. According to St. Luke, the kingdom of God is in the heart of man, not just one, ten, or hundred men, but in all men, all of you. The kingdom of God is in all of I am just an ordinary man who tried to awaken the hero in heaven to every man because I believe that we are all heroes. The hero that has the power to create happiness. The hero that has the power to make this life beautiful and wonderful. Then in the name of liberty and democracy, let us use the heroism within us to create a decent world that will give all of us equal rights and equal opportunity. A world that can provide a better future to our children and the security to a safer community. Magandang hapon po at magandang araw. Francis Leigh Marcos po. Mabuhay ang FFCI at mabuhay po kayong lahat. At ito na rin ang si Mahi Desperado. Salamat. 
Ayun. Okay, guys. Baka mo na rin talakhanin ang mga bagay na tayo. Be uh, featured sa Manila Bulletin. Nakikita niyo sa screen ngayon. Yan. As you can see, yan po yung maraming tao sa Sorsogon. Ayan. Yan po yung mga nakabenefit ng ating charity drive in Sorsogon. So, as makikita niyo sa charity, o oh, ayan. Andyan po, of course, ating boss, Francis Leo Marcos. So, nakita nyo guys, sabi ni Boss Francis Leo Marcos dyan, di ba? Oh, to all my supporters who supported me through the years, ayan, especially the previous election, we might not be able to achieve victory. Ayan, di ba? Sabi niya. But the million, 5 million votes who supported my team is enough to consider myself as a winner, di ba? Not only in politics, but a champion in the hearts of those 5 million. Filipinos. Ayan. Ano ba? However, deep in his heart naman daw, ay hindi niya talaga gusto maging politician. That is not my forte. Sabi niya siya si Chario, di ba? I don't wanna be a politician. That is not my forte. No, that is not my business. He just wanted to help everyone as much as possible, regardless of race, creed, religion, and color. Ayan, di ba? Everybody must help one another until he knows I like that. Ayan, so palakpa ka naman natin si Boss Francis Leo Marcos. Okay, so na-feature po iyan today sa Manila Bulletin. Okay, today is August 21, 2002, Sunday. So, that exact thing, guys, ay makikita po natin si Chario. Ayan, di ba? So, nakakasawa na na-feature po ang ating mega humanitarian service sa so, so on. And of course, we have there our uh, founder of Semi de Esperanza Foundation Incorporation. Ayan, si Madam Chili Tita Kabatingan. Ayan, sabi ni Madam Chili Tita Kabatingan dyan. It has been a dream come true para sa kanya, diba? It, ha oh, it has always been my passion to reach out to those who need help the most. Of course, kung andyan si Madam Chili, Tita Karatingan, si Mami Bell, ayan. We also have right there our president of Filipino Family Club International Worldwide. Walang iba kundi siya, Sertong Patalan, Eduvijas Patalan. Palakpa ka naman natin yan. Diba? Ayan mismo guys, sa makikita niyo si Chario, may nakalagay siya ng sabi ni Sir Dong dyan. Helping our poverty-stricken countrymen is a formidable challenge. But if every generous heart will join this endeavor, no matter how great the mission is, it will surely be achieved. As long as tulong-tulong daw lamang po tayong lahat. Ayan. Okay guys, guys, can you imagine, diba? We are so proud na ang ating mga mga great heroes ay andyan po sa diary niya. Yan si Idol FLM, andyan si Paribel, and of course, our president sa FFCI Worldwide, si Sir Tong Patalan. They really deserve they really deserve that one, guys. They deserve a round of applause. Ayan, nakaka-proud po. Ayan. Of course, yan, na-feature din po dyan. Hindi lamang yun, hindi lamang ang sorosogon ang na-feature dyan, guys. As you can see, ang Cebu City na mega humanitarian services is na-feature din po dyan. Yung nangyari, yung naganap po na mega humanitarian sa Cebu. Ayun, di ba? Ang first charity event was held po sa Parangay Sawang Kalero. As you can see, yung nangyari po sa Cebu, di ba? Dalawang beses po yun. Okay? Cebu City, while the second was held in Carmen, Cebu, nakalagay din po dyan, guys. Okay? Ayan, so... Uh, sabi po ni Mami Bell, nakalagay po dyan sa Chario, sabi niya, uh, nag-look forward po ang CMID Esperanza to more philanthropic projects, guys, in other regions and in the whole Philippines. So, it won't be the last sa Sorosogon, but looking forward po tayong lahat, ang FFCI family and of course, ang CMID Esperanza, na makapunta pa po tayo sa ibang lugar to extend our mega humanitarian mission. So, ayun guys, abangan po natin kung saan lugar na naman po tayo makakapunta for our next mission. Ayan, of course. So, napakaswerte ng mga mamay, mamamayang Pilipino na mapupuntahan po natin. 
ayan. So, sa mga hindi pa dyan nakakapag-subscribe, ayan, um, please uh, press nyo na po yung notification bell. Subscribe na po kayo sa channel na ito para po updated po kayo kung saan po ang susunod natin humanitarian mission by Team FLM by CMIT Esperanza. Of course, ayan, hindi mangyayari lahat yan without our founder sa FFCI, si Francis Leo Marcos. Ayan, so of course, sabi dyan guys, may nakalagay din dyan sa Chario na talagang they wanna express their gratitude. Of course, special mention nila dyan, si Francis Leo Marcos, the founder of Filipino Family Club International Incorporation, ayan, for his unwavering support and for teaming up with the foundation to reach out to more underprivileged Filipinos. Ayun, sabi po yan ni Madam Chilitita Kabatingan. Of course, guys, sabi ni Madam Chili, Chilitita Kabatingan dyan na talagang nagpapasalamat din sila kay wala iba kundi kay Mayor Isagani. Ayun. Kabatingan said the activity was also made possible through the efforts of the local government unit of Castilla, Sorsogon, na yun, headed by Mayor Isa Gani Mendoza. Ayan. The activity in Sorsogon was the SDSFI, ayan, ayan, si Amay de Esperanza's first charity drive outside si Bu. Kasi nga po, ang pinakauna po na activity ng Semi de Esperanza Foundation Incorporation was first held po sa Cebu. Ayun. So, nabanggit po po yan kanina. Ang una sa Sawang Kalero, Cebu. Ang pangalawa naman po ay sa Carmen, Cebu. So, ang pangatlo po nila ay, yan na nga po, sa Sorosogon. So, nag-collaborate po ang Semi de Esperanza Foundation Incorporation, ang ating FFCI family. Of course, tayo yung guys, kayo po yun. And of course, ang Team FLM, okay? And of course, without Francis Leo Marcos, these things won't be possible then. Kaya palakpakan naman po natin ang lahat. I am so proud of you guys, okay? We are so proud of you. Can you imagine, na-feature po kayo. Na-feature po ang ating humanitarian mission sa Manila po, ito mismo, just today. Ayan, okay? Everybody deserves a clap, 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 guys. Okay, so nakaka-proud po kayo. Ayan. So, sana naman ay ipagpatuloy po natin ang ating mega humanitarian mission sa bagay. Ayan, okay. So, ayan guys. Sa so, nakita nyo dyan, ayan. 8,000 benefit from Cebu City and Base Foundation's Charity Drive in Sorosogon. Ayan po yung uh, title na naka-highlight po sa Jario ngayong araw na to dito po sa Manila Politan dito mismo sa Jario guys eto I have the magazine so, kasama ko po mismo ayan kita nyo kasama ko kasama ko sasabi ko I have with me here yung Jario ngayon ayan so nakikita nyo ano so uh -huh. so ayan siya kita nyo ba guys okay ayan Manila Bulletin, para makita nyo talaga. Atak Manila Bulletin, ayan. So, palapaka naman natin. 